Assalamu alaikum this is me Dr Saifulla I hope you will be fine and doing great and welcome to our new video related to capital asset pricing model in this video you will learn that how we can compute required rate of return by using capital asset pricing model you will also learn that how we can compute alpha that is the difference between estimated rate of return and the required rate of return lastly you will also learn that how we can draw security market line and place our selected companies on the security market line we have selected five companies listed at pakistan stock exchange the companies are nishat mills limited icai group the mizan bank limited the resource group and thai limited and in a previous video we have computed their beta coefficients the link of that video is shown in the upper right corner of your screen as well as placed in the description of this video additionally we have also computed market return and risk free rate of return in pakistan the pakistan stock exchange is the representative market and pakistan stock exchange 100 index is the representative index of the market and in last few years on average the pakistan stock exchange 100 index provided 20% return to its investors so that's why the return on the market will be 20% and the risk free rate of return is computed by using the t bills t bills are risk free securities that are issued by the state bank of pakistan on behalf of government of pakistan and the rate of return that t bills offers is 10.59% to compute the required rate of return we can use capital asset pricing model the capital asset pricing model describes the relationship between systematic risk and expected return of the assets particularly stocks it is most widely used for pricing of risky securities and expected returns for the assets that is also used as cost of equity the basic equation of the capital asset pricing model is required rate of return is equal to risk free rate of return plus beta into rm minus rf the beta coefficient was computed in the previous videos and rm and rf are downloaded from the markets so the required rate of return will be equal to risk free rate of return f4 to log this cell plus beta into rm f4 to log this cell minus rf and f4 to log this cell bracket close and enter so the risk free rate of return will be computed that is around 20 22% i will copy this formula in the next cells to compute the required rate of return for all companies and it shows that the required rate of return is 28% for mizan bank limited that is highest and the lowest is for icai limited that is 17.79 around 18% In the previous video we have also computed the estimated rate of return for the companies the link of that video is also shown in the upper right corner of your screen as well as placed in the description of this video In the next step we will compute the difference between estimated rate of return and the required rate of return this is also known as the alpha so equal to estimated rate of return minus required rate of return and the difference is computed for all companies and if the difference between estimated rate of return and required rate of return that is alpha is negative then the stock will be overvalued so nml is overvalued icai overvalued mizan bank overvalued as well as thai limited is overvalued and if the difference between estimated and required rate of return that is alpha is positive then the stock will be undervalued so the trg is the undervalued stock in pakistan stock exchange in the last we will decide that what type of action we will take if we know that our stock is undervalued or overvalued if a stock is overvalued then it means its prices are higher today and in future its prices will go down so we will sell this stock if a stock is undervalued it means that today its value is less 
and in future its prices will go upward so we will buy this stock to take benefit and sell to place security market line i will select the required rate of return and the beta values insert and in scatter plot select scatter plot and uh, increase this size after that i will click on these dots and right click here add trend line and close this so the security market line is computed we will can change the series name as sml so the security market line is computed after that we can add our individual companies here to do so i will go into select data add nml x values its beta coefficients and y values its estimated returns again add ici x values beta coefficients and y values its estimated returns we will perform the same procedure for all companies that we have after placing all companies on the security market line i will click on these color dots and add data labels and again right click here and format data labels series name this will improve your visibility uh, but it has nothing to do with the security market line we have only five companies that's why we can add their names if you have more companies you can ignore this step and just conclude by this graph after that we can increase the font size and the color after that i will click on this and format trend line and select here x series sml and its marker marker options none and line a solid line so the security market line is computed and uh, we can see that the stocks that were overvalued are below this line and the stock that undervalued are above this line so we can conclude that if a stock is below from the security market line we will sell these stocks and if a stock is up from this line then we will buy these stocks that's all for the today's video if you have any questions you can write in the comment section or contact us through whatsapp we will try our best to answer your questions thank you take care allah hafiz